So obviously the crypto market has been cooling a little bit over the past few days. Now that, that's fine, right? Consolidation, cool downs are important. But what if I told you that there is a scenario where ADA could actually hit 85 cents before the end of the year? Again, as always, this is not financial advice, but there's a very interesting pattern playing out in the charts that I think everybody needs to be aware of. Now, when we look at ADA price, it got to where it was going in a hurry. There was this huge, 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 I'm going to try to hide this portion of the chart. <laughs> there was this huge gap right here where it covered basically a 20% move in a single day, up a lot, right? <clears throat> Ran through all these levels of resistance and set up obviously huge support in these upper ranges here around that 55 cent level. And it really didn't want to go back down. And now we've showed quite consistent strength up in this 55 to 60, 65 cent levels up in there. And with the market starting to show a little more strength again, with some of these new things coming out about the SEC, sitting down with BlackRock multiple days, talking about spot Bitcoin ETF approval and Coinbase suing the SEC for not providing clarity in the industry. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of positive things that might create this positive catalyst to close out 2023 instead of consolidating like we talked about the possibility of happening we may experience even further push and what that means for ada is we may actually follow this rising wedge pattern and we may climb to close out 2023 and this tip of this pattern actually has is at about 85 cents all right 85 cents would be absolutely insane now i have to say this if ada does follow this pattern and we kind of bounce around in here and climb to the tip of this to close out the year. Don't be surprised by a drop to begin 2024. All right. Obviously that would suck. Everybody would love to stay up there, but no, when we climb too close to the sun, we're going to get our wings burned. We're going to fall back down and that's likely to happen if we go up there. All right. That's why I've said that I want to stay more tempered at these ranges. I'd love to close the year around, you know, 60 to 70 cents. That'd be a good range, good level to where we could actually climb to begin 2024. Either way, even if we do face retracement, I think that we do follow history. We climb into the having. We experience some insane numbers. And at the current rate that we're going, it looks like that one dollar by by the Bitcoin having is completely possible. The ultra bull scenario, especially if we do get some of those positive occurrences happening in the market. Now, one thing we do have to pay attention for as well is to make sure that obviously we've been following this trend of higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows. What we don't want to happen is us to start going on a little bit of a climb here and flip back over and create this right shoulder in this head and shoulders pattern. Then we could possibly face even further retracements and things like that. There's a lot of things that could happen in these charts right now. Okay. A lot of possibilities before the end of the year. Again, Right now, we were heavily influenced by the direction of Bitcoin and what kind of possibilities come there. Today, Bitcoin, another red day. It is what it is. At some point in the next you know, six hours or so, it'll flip green, and we'll see if we can continue to stack some more green days on top of each other heading into the weekend, or we're, well, I guess we're into the weekend now, but through the weekend into next week. So I appreciate you guys as always. Let me know where you think we're headed from here. Let me know if you think we're going to Follow this uh, rising wedge and maybe set some insane new highs for the year. So appreciate you as always. Show your love below. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.